Now that my hacking skills is way above level 40, I should be able to get inside this computer here. I uh, read that already. Read that already. Hold on. Are you serious? It says here hack is 55. Are you kidding me? No, last time it said 40. Now it's 55? Fuck this bitch ass game. We are here at the research facility. I see some marauders. Here we go. Ew, they're trying to throw acid at us. Nice. And we're alive. Beautiful. I just love my companions like Nyoka, Pravardi, the best. Lover of ladies here, thank you for tuning in to this week's The Outer Worlds. We're here to find a certain scientist here to see if they can help us. Hopefully, that person's still alive. And I see a dead body. Usually with these rescue missions, the rescue missions, nine times out of ten, we're too late, person's dead, the whole bam. But at least I got some good stuff to just take. No one's gonna use this, so. Whoa, 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 oh, shit. Ooh. Coated like an omelet. I love this. Another one? Oh, they're they're upstairs. Oh shit. That's the last of them. Alright, so more bodies. Not surprised. I'm being burned up here, but whatever. Alright, so we do have an escape now. No sign of the scientist as of yet. I fear for the worst. I mean, all of these consumables are not going to be used, so might as well take them. Huh. It's like... I just love scavenging so much, but half the time when I do play this game, I always end up having to dismantle some of these things because of the fact that, you see, it's happening right now. I get a little carried away with picking everything up to a point where now I'm not able to run as fast because I'm overbearing. So let me just do a quick cleanup. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm good to go, but it's like... There's only so much I can carry at this point. Oh my goodness. Nasty ass bathroom. Would never be caught dead being in the bathroom like that. Alright, let me take a look at the messages, see what's going on. Uh, let me see. Project Loram Suam shall result in a potent, mostly 
non-lethal crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated, or excessively numerous crowds. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL vows all knowledge of and responsibility for Loram Sunum. All data in this report is considered proprietary knowledge of UDL. Access restricted by user Powell Junior Powell J. Sorry, login credentials required. I can hack this. If Valdez wants a better title, see how she likes these, JP. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list, and I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. NS. Thunderdog. Eggs ma'am. Skunk parade. <laughs> Fuck you, Valdez. <laughs> I want my raise. Oh my god, this is funny. Ooh, more messages. Miss Valdez, just reporting in to let you know the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is the sublate boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, and we're all getting sick of expired sissy bits. Sa Sanders, it's supposed to smell awful, that's the point. And I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we've got that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Brazilium and live on cow cow ribs for the all I care. And come up with a better name for the project, something flashy and catchy, but that the rest of the management will take seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Danger Burn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to Sander so we can tell them that we have evidence of an illegal operation operating on Monarch. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? So, uh, if you're looking for a corporate present, I met some mercenaries affiliated with C3. I'm sorry, who? C3, Corporate Compliance Crew. Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped up band of thugs with certain pretensions. The evidence I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's, Spacer's Choice, UDL, someone of that caliber. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. Okay, well, I found a data cartilage with details of UDL secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Good. Well, I found your review on a terminal in the ARMS building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. So, you sent me into a raptor infested mess to clean up after you. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and Your for what? years, 
I was a joke to them. You deadass did that? Your, your left kidney? Ugh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. <laughs> Listen, who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Mm. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. That's more than anyone can say for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Uh, I've got to go. This is my third attempt to try and hack this terminal. I did... I did manage to level up again. So I've used all of my points towards my hacking skills. So... Finally. Finally. Braxton Hetch's files are filled with Saltuna breeding charts. Various pharma pharmacological formulae and musings on why Saltuna seem to prefer boars and beans over plain worst wars. Vemmel's personal files are a morass of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Careful study of her financial reveals that for the past several years, she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. Look at that, this bitch has been stealing it all along. The thief is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. The sheer volume of occurrences, however, indicates deliberate intent. Ho ho! Man, this is delicious. This is truly delicious. So now that I actually have proof, I wonder if Velma would still want me to steal money from Celeb. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Oh, come on, really? Uh, let me go through this, see if there's any new stuff. Uh, let's talk about Celeb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again? I've got nothing to say. Uh, Celeb says they need a race to keep up with prizes around here. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook. Not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire Sublight contractors at this rate. You've already lost Braxton. Can you afford to lose Caleb's entire team? I don't even want to think about that. Or how far behind Braxton's loss alone is going to put us. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? I'll talk to you later. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. I've been trying to finish this specific quest for quite some time now, but due to my lower level of hacking, I had to put this off for a bit, so I can't wait to tell them the good news. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? I convinced Velma to see reason. She'll increase your pay. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Yes. Hell yeah. I'm back at the ship. Timing, Captain. 
What happened? I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Okay. Well, let's go and actually help with Nioka's quest. Before I go to Haram, telling him about how he can use the station, I'm going to finish this one first because she's been helping me this whole time and I feel like it is definitely... It'll definitely do her justice to actually see what happened with her friends. So we're going to go to Terra 2 and look for her companions. And we're on our way back to Edgewater. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Ooh, I can smell the salt tuna from here. All right, so... Let's see what's going on. And obviously I'm taking these two, so let's head on out. I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! I don't know, Nioka. They're not really answering. And at this point, I see marauders too, so... Either they're really good at hiding, or... We, unfortunately, came in too late. That's the last of them. Yeah? Okay, cool. Alright, so let me see here. Obviously, I am yet again overburdened with Take lots again. of stuff. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. <gasps> no. Oh, Nioka. Oh, okay. Um. Oh no. oh, no. What did you do? Oh, Nioka. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, too. I'm over here excited to meet her old friends, and they're both dead. Its display is faded and the buttons are, are almost entirely rusted through, but you can still make out bits and pieces of what look like Rebecca's final entries. Law helped me, but Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this, this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or added, or I don't know what. The towns won't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find someone to help me send a message. For all the capable folk here, we were stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but nobody is allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces of life from wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up. Offer his life and service to Spacer's Choice just so he can take a shower. Clara, I hope to the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I fucked up. We didn't take the contract for the bits. We didn't take it because Primal sounded cool. We took it because we wanted out. Mornark's a living hell. We were sick of getting sick. Of boiled raptodon and sticky like sulfur, no matter how hard you scrub. Of fighting. Day in and day out, we're exhausted. We thought we could use the contract money to find a place here, settle down, but this place ain't any better. It's just different. We're starving all the same. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you, kid. Marauders at the door. Anderson's bled out. I'm on my way. I won't let them get me. 
Not alive, anyway. I've seen what those monsters do. I don't... They were... That bitch! They were all sent to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! <sighs> Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. I am so sorry, Nioka. I know it's hard for you, and you have every right to be upset. It's just sad how they died, honestly. No one should die like that. At least... At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but... Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. She'll still want to know just the same as you did. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home. Which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Uh, might do it? I didn't think there was anything about the wilderness you didn't know. <laughs> I'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Well, before we go, I do have a interesting friend that I want to see. See how she's doing with her new role as governor of Edgewater. I know what you're thinking. Are you actually going to go back to her? Yes, because I just want to see exactly what happened ever since she took over Edgewater. Adelaide, old friend. The one that definitely hates me, but fuck it, why not? Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Now that Reed's gone, what do you plan to do? Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. A place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. Are you concerned about the plague? Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. You're still using corpses in your fertilizer. But of course. And now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. Oh, fucking yuck. I was wondering about your garden. The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery, with crops enough to feed a town. Okay, well... Take care. All right, let's head on out. And we're going to Scylla to haunt some primals. Destination reached, Scylla. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on A Lost Hope? I guess so. 
When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Aww. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of the ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. That makes sense to why she took his death so harshly. That's all for now. Alright, I am on my way to haunt some primals. Wish me luck at this point. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.